As time passes, your heart gets run on it. Run is little black dots that are put on a heart every time one commits a sin. For some, they're washed away when they repent. And for others, it becomes a black heart like a crow. It may be dead, but this is something you can bring back to life. It may be covered, but you can always clean it up. In these few moments, let's take four quick steps to doing so. Recite the Quran and understand the meaning and understand and contemplate it and understand the names and qualities of Allah as you read the Quran. Read the translation when you read the Quran. If you don't know the Arabic meaning, read the tafsir. We all have tafsir ibn Kathir. Hearts have a lock and you must break that lock to understand the Quran. Do they not comprehend the Quran or is it that they have locks on their hearts? When you read the Quran, don't be mindless of it. The second one is to remember Allah's countless blessings and provisions over you. The more you realize Allah's blessings upon you, the more you long to thank Him. Sit up every day for a few moments and contemplate the blessings Allah gave you and your family. That will ignite your love and yearning to Allah. Alhamdulillah, I woke up safely in my home. Alhamdulillah, I'm healthy in my body. Alhamdulillah, have my provision for the day. Third, live in your heart and long into Allah by regretting the past. You got to regret that. The past that went with no worship and the past that went with some sins. Regret it enough to ignite repentance, which entails yearning to worship Allah. After you remember, and regret and repent, put a period on your past and start a new sentence. Flip the page and start on a new page. Now, your aim is to catch up and be better than ever and better than anyone else. The fourth way, remember the foremost and compare yourself to them. That will spark a feeling to urge you to compete with them.